Hello, my friends. But I'm this once Slaves, Slaves. That's in Armenian. You know, on my trip to Armenia, I went there a few times. Wonderful people, wonderful cuisine. Been influenced a little bit by the Persians who conquered that area, by Russians who conquered that area, and uh, by Ottomans who conquered that area, and Mongols who conquered that area. But finally, my people of Armenia, proud people fight for the freedom and it's free republic of Armenia but if this hey people uh, metal chef will show you how to do some Armenian dish I learned from the Anna lady in Armenia remember get my trimmings of the pork and chicken I'm gonna grind it up add few really fresh cool ingredients and make some uh, like a kafta, lula kebab, you know, the uh, tube steak, it looks like a, you know, a long dicky, but it's not, you know, it goes, uh, and a sword like this, and you grill it, and you got delicious uh, kafta, or lula kebab, if you wanna name it. So first, let's go put my machine to the action, you know, I got grinder, I don't buy ground meat very rarely, have to be really fresh and in my liking, very lean so let's go grind it up I got my pork and chicken mixture, trimmings, here's some onions a little bit garlic, not much, and lots of fresh cilantro let's go do this thing bullshit ground beef or other meat from the store with the peelers and and it's much cheaper too I'm telling you For a second, the last ingredients you wanna grind it. It's your onions, because onions it's the less expensive ingredients. So if you got something, you know, will not come out and will be kind of not not good to mix to your mix. The onion is not expensive. Sorry, onion, I love you, baby, but economy. my pusher so I do have to do some things you know they don't really supposed to go there so I'm very careful alright again I don't want to get any ground up plastic pieces the plastic will melt and a grill but give you a slightly uh, different flavor so I'm not all of a It's 
scoring, but it has to be done, my friends. Have to be done. The meat have to be grind up, and the machine kind of careful of that stuff. It will cut your fingers really easy if you're not careful. All right, you see, we got our unwanted pieces cut up by the grinder. I just have to go for the birds, baby. And then it goes very fast. Again, I'm using kosher sea salt slash smoked salt pepper. Looks like I'm gonna make a trip to a uh, holiday market today to get my peppercorns and uh, other stuff. Muggy. Muggy, it's you know, pretty salty. Soybean seasoning, it's a very nice flavor, but it's salt, so you have to be careful. And a little bit of the just touch Middle Eastern kafta seasoning, not a lot like I will put in the regular kafta, just slight flavor. Okay, and then you just mix it up. Mixy mixy, you know, you got your all ingredients here. We're gonna check for flavor in a minute. I am brave man, so I try my raw meats raw. You're not brave enough. Just take a little piece like this, put it in a frying pan, cook it up, taste it, try it for seasoning if you need that more, you know. I'm daredevil. Uh, so let's go try it. I do over the thing just in case if I get sick and I throw up. Touch of salt and it's ready to go, okay? So with this you can make some meatballs, you can make even uh, and use some yogurt sauce will be pretty good, you know. But I'm gonna grill it as a kafta, you know. Take one of your swords. You know, I'll just start it up. I'm not gonna do whole thing. Can you? Now you go around. I'll show you before. I mean, you know, you do long. And you oil it up a little bit before you put it on a sheet. And you make uh, tubes and a sword. Tubes and a sword. And that's my Armenian Lula kebab or kafta if you wanna say. Again, Vances people, Vances, thank you very much my Armenian friends for inspiration. And thank you very much everybody who's watching me because I'm Metal Chef Mad Max with my kafta hands. Love you people, don't be asshole, don't be grumpy, respect each other because life is too short to be prick. Love you and see you next time. Rock and roll forever and booyah and shake the shit.